my name is Grace and today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is 17 chapter The Wolves of Jericho Joshua 6. Let's read. Jericho is a fortress with a high strong wall. Look at this wall, said Joshua's people. How can we fight? against the people of Jericho. How can we go over this wall? Oh, sorry. So, now Joshua lead the Israel people when Moses died. And they have saw the Jericho. They should pass the Jericho and they should, so they should, like, something. And it does very tall and strong wall to go and, like, they should fight against, fight against the people of Jericho, but like they were tall and st were strong, and they had a big, big wall. Joshua said, God will help us. God taught Joshua how to tear the wall down. And Joshua told the people what God stopped him. This is the way God stopped me. So Joshua said, God will help us. Actually, Joshua said to spice, I guess. Oh no. When Moses was there, Moses has sent 12 spies. One of them were Joshua. And Joshua said, God will help. Joshua and Galip, only Joshua and Galip said, if with God's help, we can do it. But other 10 spies were saying, no, we can never defeat them. Like they're very tall. And Tall and very strong. But God helped Joshua, the Israel people. They were going to tear the wall down by God's way. On the first day, Joshua and the Israel people went to Jericho. Go. They march around the city, wall with the sound of trumpets. Then they went back to their tents. So they have cleared the wall with God's way. First day. First day, they walked around and numbers two, work around three, four, five, six. And all six days, they walked around the wall. But it's very, you know. They always walked. What they're doing? The people of Jericho was serious. They're, they're afraid of Israel. Why don't they fight against us? The Israel marched around the city again the next day. So Israel was kept going around the city. On the seventh day, 
Joshua and Israel people marched around the wall of Jericho. It was different from other six days. They marched around the city seven times. The people of Jericho was serious. What is going to happen? Like they were marching around seven times of the wall. The wall will be very tall and very long. They should be very tired. <laughs> When the people heard the sound of trumpets, they began to shout. The high wall of Jericho fell down in front of the people. Joshua and the Israel people ran into Jericho and took over the city. Joshua shouted, the God help us. So God helped them and... The city falls down. I will read one more story. 18 chapter, The Strongest Man, Samson, Judges 13 to 16. Samson was the strong, strongest man. God made him strong. Samson was strong enough to kill a lion. He killed a lion with his four hands. Samson even won the battle with Philistines. So, Samson was a very strong man. Like, God helped Samson to be strong. And God made Samson very strong. The Philistines tried to kill Samson. They tried. Tried the Israel very badly. But Samson was stronger than they were. So everyone, every Philist, every Israel people, they have tricked badly but only Samson was so strong they couldn't uh, Samson was stronger than them I want to do whatever I want Samson didn't obey God he didn't obey his parents Samson also did what made himself sad fell in love with the Palestine skull, Darula. The Palestines came to Darula. We will give you lots of money. Find out what made Samson so strong. Darula kept asking him to tell her the truth day and night. Samson gave and then said, My strength is in my long hair. Darla cut his long hair and called the Palestines. Samson attacked later, made him sad. <coughs> Sorry. Samson woke up from a sleep. Samson's strength was gone. He didn't listen to God. He didn't listen to his parents. And now Samson was weak. The Philistines put him in a jail. The Philistines made Samson blind. They made him work hard. They laughed at him. They were curly to him. Samson repented. And his hair began to grow. One day, Palestines were gathered at a great temple to worship their false god. There was a two pillar. Between them. At the big party, Palestines called Samson out. They met fun at him. 
something cut off the rope around you. Ha! Samson repented, repented, and prayed. God, make me strong one last time. Help me take read on those Philistines. They were calling to Israel. God made him strong one last time. Samson pushed the pillars with all his might. The temple crashed down over the people in the temple. So all Palestine has died in this day. Yes, today I thought I will start to enjoy. And next time I will read another good story. Now see you next time. Bye!